Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level, yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. The of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Mystery! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, you take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. 
big call for Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. And that one certainly found the target. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, looked like that knee to the body might have landed. Instead, it is blocked by Lick. Powerful leg kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Leg kick. Kick lands. Connects with a right. Under three minutes now to go on the round. into these big leg kicks. Nice kick. Left hand counter. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Good stick. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Punch to the body is blocked. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he hurt a bad with a jab. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Caught that kick there. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big elbow there, Lance. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Trying to establish that jab once again. Checks that leg kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. He gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Nice straight punch. All 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Visibly limping here. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Just out of range with that left hook. That's a good right hand. Just out of range with the big right hand. That shot blocked by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body. Oh, that's a nice strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That beautiful body he's lands right under the elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Devastating body kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful counter with a punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch lands over the top. Real nice body coming in. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. <laughs> Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Beautiful punch. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds. Oh, and he caught the kick. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In this he doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Yes, catches the kick and counters with the takedown. Now he touches him with the left. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. And he is back up to his feet. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. A beautiful strike. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice job by him there as he continues to keep his opponent to the outside. He told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, I have to control the center of the octagon. So far, so good. Oh, he's doing a great job. His opponent, back is always facing the cage. He's always the one in the center. Whether it's in the clinch, whether it's in the middle of the octagon, he is the one always leading the dance. Opponent goes right, he just takes a big step right. Opponent goes left, he takes a big step left. Never gives him an out as he's trying to escape. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He went high on that. Straight right, he misses. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Punch over the top. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! And kick. An uppercut landed. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Sneaky head kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Out of range with that one. Blocks that kick to the body. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. but just out of range. Oh, 
he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Continues. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.